hey guys my name is rohit welcome to the second part so as i said in the second part i will do php scripting guys notice here i changed the con.php uh, file name because some issues in my os uh, it is not allowing me to override that con.php i think that is uh, some pre-built uh, windows file so i have created uh, i have changed this name to con.php and notice this uh, my project folder name is also a changed so in this con.php file it will contain the all the scripting php scripting for connecting to database now go ahead and write those php scripts for connecting to database whenever you are writing the php file you should uh, create these two tags php tags uh, i'm creating a variables db host the db host should equal local host as long as your project is in your local environment uh, this db host should be local host if you deploy this application into a live web server or uh, any hosting services then you should give your ip address here in place of local host you should give your ip address and another another variable is db username that should be this is my database username and password i am giving i have given the root as username for my database and db password the password i i didn't give any password to my uh, database so i left it uh, blank and the last one is db name this, this is going to be your database name we haven't created uh, the database uh, name yet so let me just give my db so whatever the name we are we have given here we should create the database name with the same name so now go ahead and write the connection i'm going to create the connection i am using this mysqli underscore connect this is a php method for connecting to database you just pass all these variables the first variable the first parameter should be the host name the second comma separated by comma the second one should be second parameter should be username the third parameter should be your password the fourth parameter should be your database name yeah if it fails to connect then we should we should write the error onto the console that is or die and it will give the error message error connecting to database that's it and uh, we have completed the connection file so put this aside and now it's time to write the pro process form dot php so before processing the form we should include our connection file into this the process form dot php file so to include the connection file we have a method include include it, it takes a string the string name so the string should be con.php the file name so that's it and under this we will write all the code that needs to process the form if we set dollar underscore post register this register is uh, this one i am giving the name i have given the name register here in, in the if condition whenever the user what we are going to tell the script is whenever user presses or clicks this user uh, this button then it will get invokes here if the user performs if the user clicks that button then perform this code code in the if condition now i am going to create a variable for retrieving the full name from the form full name i am using mysqli real escape string for uh, bypassing the sql injection from the hackers so in this just write dollar underscore post full name the name the name of our input field is the this input field name whatever we have given here we should give the names here the name should be full name for email it is email for age it is age for 
डेट ऑफ बर्थ इट इज डी ओ बी फॉर जेंडर इट इज जेंडर फॉर डेजिग्नेशन इट इज डेजिग्नेशन लैंग्वेज इज नोन इट इज एन अरे एंड फॉर बयो इट इज बयो एंड फॉर पासवर्ड इट इज पासवर्ड फॉर कन्फर्म पासवर्ड इट इज कन्फर्म पासवर्ड नो गो हेड एंड राइट ऑल दिंग फुल नेम and i'm copying this one uh you can also use get method but whenever you are using dollar underscore get you should give the method name as get when you are uh, when you are designing the uh form here the method yeah this this one should be get so using get is not securable so that's why i am using post whenever you have whenever you use get then your fields will be visible in your url so i don't want that that's why i am using post method so i have created so to get the value of uh, multiple check boxes this is little bit different uh, since we have declared the name as an array here we have given the name as array language is array so whenever user select multiple languages all those values will be stored in languages array so we to get those values we have to iterate through that array so the code will be if the languages array not empty then dollar underscore post take that array the name should be languages here you don't need to put the square brackets just leave it like that and in this if that array is not empty then perform the code in this if condition declare language this is languages and this is language notice that one declare i uh, initialize this is empty thing and i am writing to iterate through that array i am using the for each loop for each loop remove the remove that code and dollar underscore post languages this is the name of the array we are getting the each value and storing it as storing it in temporary variable that is lang so it will iterate through the array and in the first iterate iteration it will get the first first value and insert that value into the lang temporary variable called lang and then we will append the append those values to this this variable for that we will write dollar language dot equals dot indicates concatenation in php lang dot we will separate the each language by space again here the dot indicates concatenation we are concatenating each language by space so if user selects english and french then it will take english space french so that's how it works now let us just write uh, the code for bio password and confirm password yeah i have written the code for bio password and confirm password after this we have to write an uh, sql statement to insert insert that uh, insert these fields into the database before writing that insert command we have to create the database go to your browser and type localhost slash php myadmin so in the php myadmin uh, click this databases tab and give your database name i am giving my db and click create after you have created after create, creating the database my db uh, you have to create the table i am creating the table name as user i will need 10 columns click go and the first column should be id and it will be integer this should be the user id and this is auto incremented ai and this will be the primary key for for my table second one is full name 
that is a work uh, ln should be 50 user cannot enter more than 50 characters as full name the next is email and um, it should be work uh, and uh, also you 30 or uh, 50 then is page this should be integer I'm giving three uh, since 100 is three characters maybe there will be user with 100 or here suffix and dob date of birth it will be date you don't need to give the uh, length value for date and after this uh, gender gender is from uh, this will be then and next one is a designation should be worker then and after designation will be languages then worker I'm giving thirty since it is a string I'm giving thirty and after that uh, this password how we missing something bio we forgot bio oh, sorry uh, after gender it should be designation and after designation it should be languages okay. and after languages it should be bio bio work uh, worker 200 and password password I am restricting the user up to 15 characters so that's it and um, click uh, save so your user stable is created now I am giving a unique key for this email no it's not working but you should give a unique key to the email in, uh, because this will not allow the same user twice to register so that's why now let's go to our process form.php file so under this code create another variable uh, which which holds the command for inserting into database this is an sql sql query insert into the table name is users table we have created the table name as user in the users table i'm inserting uh, the these columns full name column we are ignoring the ID since it is an uh, uh, since we put that as auto increment full name email so now I have written all those things and after this we are passing the values for those columns in the values we should give these for full name this value should be inserted full name you should put these uh, variables in single quotes if it is where care you should put that in single quotes if it is number you don't need to put that in single quotes and next is email so I have written the code uh, full name for full name is full name for email it is email for age gender see uh, yeah, since it is the age variable takes uh, an integer number so that's why I didn't put this variable in single quotes so that's it and now we have to execute this query if we have to check whenever the user is uh, entering the fields whenever he clicks the register button we should check both the password and confirm passwords are equal or not so here i'm just checking if condition is password double equals confirm password then only we should insert the user into the database now I am executing the query in this if condition there will be uh, one method in uh, PHP that is mysqli underscore query this method returns a boolean boolean value whether it is 0 or 1 if the query executes successfully it returns 1 otherwise it returns 0 we will write it takes two parameters first, uh, first one is the connection variable in con.php we have given con so this one con 
so we should pass that as parameter in the first that would be the first parameter the second parameter is this inset so that's it if this mysql query command exists successfully the code in this if condition should be executed let us just see if it is working or not now go to registration form Oops, something is missing oh, that should be should be one thing because i have already changed i told you i changed the project name view some dummy data oh hit ovchgmail.com one two three four five six one two three four five six click register and go to your pc admin and browse and nothing no data is inset uh, so there will be some errors in our code we have to debug the code because we forgot to uh, include this process dot process.php file in index.php we should include that file php include a process form dot php and also we should give the form action form action is php so in the action just write this uh, php a uh, dollar underscore server php cell what it as what it does is whenever you click the click that register button the values goes into the database and the routing will be remained in the same page so that's it now let's refresh this form oh there will be index error in line 16 i think we don't need this oh sorry yeah now let us just go ahead and now refresh index unexpected lower brace on line 16 line 16 for each oh sorry i forgot to give the semicolon here now go ahead and try again yeah it's working now give some dummy values now click register go to the php admin and and see refresh this time again the values are not inserted go ahead and debug the program see here in database we have given full small n name but here we have given capital n these are all the column names in database we should give the same names here small n and after this the email page let's cross check email page dbb gender designation languages here we have given the spelling mistake languages instead we have given languages so change it to to language languages languages yeah and then save now it should work go ahead and refresh your form now give the dummy data the password is 1 2 3 4 5 6 now register go to Let's imagine browse. Yeah, got it. Now the ID is one. We have given Rohit an email address H twenty two DVB mail engineer and uh, C the languages. I selected English and German and bio is bio and password is one zero. So we are getting uh, the data in, into the database. Now what we want is whenever we click the register button, if the data in if the data is inserted then we will get we will get a status message on here under the registration form like successfully inserted failed to inst failed to insert so like that we need some status so for that we have to go to uh, index.php under this column i am writing the status i am creating a division to print the that status class is or i'm giving the id not uh the status i have given the id as status and then i'm writing the php tag to print the status echo dollar sp8 status so this variable contains the status to get this status message we have to do the scripting for the status if this executes successfully then then dollar status should be equal to single quotes in the single quotes and just uh, 
uh, I think division the division class is alert this is a bootstrap class name alert alert has some success so new strong here I am noting user register user register if it fails else if it fails we will give the status as this is success this is danger if it is success then it will be printed in green color so that's why I have given the alert success and alert danger represent uh, red color user registration failed so that's it and if the user enters a uh, wrong password suppose if the if the password does not match then we should give the uh, we should print the status as password does not match we should print the status here and end it and here we should be warning then it will appear in yellow color password does not match now we should declare the status variable globally here and it calls empty now go ahead and uh, see whether it is working or not see i am giving the different passwords here i am giving the different passwords so click register see password does not match and if we insert the data successfully no but i am giving the same password bc now click register see user register successfully but what do, what we want is we have to uh, make this status disappear after some time so to do that we have to uh, program it in jquery now uh, type jquery cdn you will get the code.jquery.com you will go to get. then take this uncompressed version now copy this and paste it here in the index.php file remove this one this code you don't need this code remove this first scripting remove that and paste this here now just above the body we have to write the the jquery code that would be script in the script dollar document dot ready this is a inbuilt function inbuilt method in jquery will take callback function now dollar we are just identifying the identifying the status using this id you have to make this id division disappear status we are giving the status dot delay after i am giving 3000 milliseconds which is 3 seconds after 3 seconds it will be fade out fade out method now go ahead and try register 1 2 3 yes so that's it uh, our project is completed it is working fine so that's pretty much it guys if you like this video go ahead and click like and subscribe to my youtube channel and um, if you want any other project just give your comments under the comment section below so thank you guys for watching this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial